have you been raising hogs? Well, I started out with my father raising hogs, so I've really been with pigs all my life, really. I, from the time I was old enough to go to the barn, I've been going to the barn and helping with pigs. So that's really where I started. On my own, I've been at it about 28 years, I guess. Okay. Um, how many hogs do you have? Uh, we run about 3,000. Okay. Uh, and where were they born? They were born in a cell barn just uh, about half an hour north of here. What breed are your hogs? Uh, for the most part, uh, a York. Uh, And uh, what do you feed them? Like, what is your feeding schedule? You mean like how often are they fed? They're they're they eat at lib. Okay. They feed in front of them at all times. Um, the f their self feeders is what they call self feeders. So there's always feed they can walk to the feeder at any time of day or night and actually eat. We just keep the feeders filled up. So is there, there's water in the feed. Yes. Is that just to make it more palatable? Or? Yeah. Okay. It's a third choice. It's called a wet dry feeder. And if you look back, you can see uh, nipples down in, in the middle in there. Okay, yeah. For example, something like those. There's three of them. The pigs control them. They, okay. can, they can make water go in there or not. It's up to them. But typically they can eat dry feed off that ledge. That's where the dry feed comes from. Okay. They work it off near now. Oh yeah. It, it flows out from there. So they work that with their nose and bring it down there. Or they can eat it dry right from there. Okay. They can do whichever they want. And it's just like a pelleted feed? Yes, it's a pelleted feed. They, they pellet it, it. Everything holds together better. Do you, uh, do you keep daily records of how much feed they consume? Not daily records. Um, we, we keep a record of each crop. It's, uh, the barn's filled all at once and then it's completely emptied out. So we, we do have a feed conversion on the whole barn when we're done as an average. Um, are hormones or feed additives given to them? No. No. Um, are antibiotics given to them? Not unless necessary. Um, so uh, where would be a situation that you would give antibiotics? Um, well, if uh, we have a bug of some sort break out in the barn, uh, then we will either, depending on what it's recommended either uh, by water medication or by injection. Generally by water medication is the easiest route to do if it's very many. Okay. Um, what are the general day-to-day -day tasks in running a, a hog operation? Well for myself in a finishing barn, uh, walking through and Diagnosing whether a pig is healthy or not is the general day-to-day -day job uh, and making sure the uh, feeders are filled with feed. Uh, ventilation is correct for air quality. Um, then as a crop of pigs progresses, then we have to go in and weigh the pigs for market because they need to be a certain weight. So it, it takes a bit of time to weigh and sort through them and then and ship them out. Um, how much of the operation is automated? Um, well, for the most part, uh, the feeding is all automated. Uh, they're all on slats, so the cleaning is done. So it's, it's a fairly decent automation 
as far as for finishing barn. The most labor is in looking after the pigs themselves and, and the weighing and shipping. Okay. Um, what would be the biggest challenges that you face in running a, a hog operation? Um, there's always there's always a new uh, challenge with usually a new, there always seems to be a new disease comes out that will be widespread throughout the area uh, that can be a problem and that can be a challenge sometimes to get that taken care of. So disease management, really? Probably yes. Okay, sounds a good way to put it. Um, what uh, what forms of biosecurity do you have in place in your barns? Um, we uh, we have uh, the barns are always locked, and uh, we have showers in the entrances for people coming in and out, and we have boots and coveralls for anyone in the barn so that outside goals are not entering the building. Um, and then, uh, do you have a code of ethics for your barns in handling the animals? Yes, Ontario Pork actually has a, a full code of ethics and we have them up in the barn. Okay, and you're required by law to it's, it's required with uh, the uh, program for shipping that I'm currently on that we do that. Okay. And uh, just lastly, what would your favorite part of, of being a hog farmer be? Um, I guess part of it I enjoy working with the pigs. And part of it, it's never always the same. There's always a new challenge of some sort that comes along. Cool. Well, thank you very much. You're quite welcome. I appreciate your time. Well, that wasn't a problem. You're quite welcome. I'd like to share my information. Well, thank you. Some of the things that we learned about in class that we noticed while we were there were things like the feeders being raised so that the pigs couldn't defecate in their food. Another thing that we noticed was that a lot of the pigs were very easy to scare. Um, they weren't as easily uh, startled when they were surrounded by other pigs, but when they were on their own many of them became defensive even though they might have been curious earlier when we were around them. It was interesting, however, when I first brought the camera into the barn, the uh, pigs all sort of flocked to me and were uh, very interested in what I was doing, but they weren't uh, defensive. They were uh, right up next to me and they wanted to see what I was doing. One thing I wish I could have uh, done differently with this project is that uh, when we went into the barns, I wish that I had taken uh, video or even pictures of the biosecure room. Uh, it was very interesting to uh, see how clean it was, which wasn't entirely what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be fairly clean, but I didn't expect it to be as uh, clean as it was. Um, and for them to have the array of uh, coveralls and boots for everyone uh, entering the barn. Uh, they also had uh, in the biosecure area their water injection for antibiotics for the pigs and it was uh, a very interesting setup for how they could just so easily mix enough antibiotics for about uh, 24 hours and uh, allow it to regulate and distribute the uh, antibiotics to the pigs through the water uh, so simply.